this. I'm down to keep this. First hand of the day looks pretty good. I like because Pat to Exile, so I decide to draw cards. We're going first as well. Colony tap, pass turn. Uh, we're playing uh, some some kind of variation of Waffle Tap's original list. The only difference is uh oh. The only difference is uh the better uh what is it called? I think I'll play island here. Let's see. The only difference this is the list we're playing here. Waffle Tap's the original except for Okay. I think I'll play Watergrave tap is the better lands. Uh, instead of four col not colonnades, cryptic commands, I have a two cryptics and two void shatters. Yeah. Yeah, mana base change for the better cards, you know? Like instead of the scalding tarns, the. Yeah, we'll take three, he'll gain three. What else? Uh. Other than that, everything else seems pretty fine, except for the sideboard. The sideboard's also, uh, different. Most of the sideboard's actually different. I'm trying to tune it up for the, the new meta game, because back then with Waffle Tap for original build, it was a, a whole different meta game than the one we're used to here. So just like, Jeskai Control we're going against, which I always find fun. I like going against other control matchups. That's good. We missed her. We're the first one to miss a land drop. Okay. I'm gonna force him to have something here. Discard too. Yeah. So he's deciding whether he wants to uh, crit the command, counter draw, or uh, remand here. I'm not sure if Jessica Control runs mainboard dispel. That could be a thing as well. We chose him to mind draw him. He's actually looking at his hand. He's probably taking out the removal. He took out Hard Fountain and Steam Vents. That's actually really good to keep though. We have another one. Let's see. Things we're worried about is Karanos. Him slamming down a Karanos is really bad. Server pass. Yeah. Alright, he has a ghost quarter, so here we'll do the same song and dance real quick. Make him discard too. So that way if he has to protect whatever he has in his hand, he has to do it now. He's fetching for it too. Gets an island, looks like a cryptic. That's an oh. Remand maybe, colorless, no, red, blue, so remand, yeah, we're... he probably still has cryptic in hand, since I don't want to discard here, I probably want to do it during my turn as well, yeah, Karanos is bounceable, I think I'll do it here, i force him to cryptic counter draw as well. So far, we haven't used our counter spells, which I'm glad with. Yeah, counter draw. Yep. Pass turn. I'm not sure how many uh, counter spells they run here, but I run out two of them. Three for Geist. Okay. We have the Supreme Verdict for him, so. Would not take damage from the Geist. So this is a... It's kind of like a Great Nate's, uh, what is it called? Jeskai Geist. Destroying our thing, yep. That leaves us with a... Uh, gets another blue source here. Oh... Uh, do you want the other white? Yeah, you probably want the other white. So we have Remand open now, because of that Ghost Quarter play. 
which I'm fond of right now. You probably activate the colonnade for one, two, three, four, five attack. You can activate colonnade right now, but we'll path it with a path. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if he activates colonnade. He activates the col colonnade. Let's see if he uh, has this bow here. All right, colonnade's gone. Yeah, getting planes set up was really good. Supreme Verdict, we keep that over here. We really need her. We really need to hit a third uh, white source now. And more lands, preferably. I bet it is silly. Another one. I'll be glad to pat that one too. That's Exile. If he does a uh, remand here, we can just play it again. Blue, blue. I'll remand my own uh, path to exile because I don't want him to draw his own card. I'd rather have mine. A full minute. I also drew a second path. Okay, so his remand gets countered because no legal target. He has no more basics. That's nice to know. Almost a full minute, that's really nasty. I don't know how to make it a... the delay even less. Alright. Okay, so just guy geist here. I think I want to force him to draw this card too again. Being really aggressive against his hand here. Not sure about the bot. I think I like below the stream is pretty good. He discarded, put a bottom top. He discarded spreading seeds and lightning bolt. All right. Yeah, we just need to hit more lands. I'm probably. More lenient on not fetching with the flood shrine, just so we can find more lands. Because we can fetch any time here. But I really feel when we need to land here. That's good. Uh, Snapcaster Mage, Esper Charm, Snapback would be pretty good here. To Grix's control? Uh. I think, I'm pretty sure Esper Control was made just to deal with Grixis Control. Or it's made to like, just shut up card advantage against them. Just really wins the game. No, we won't pay two. Hmm. I think in here we ditched the thing twice. Okay, here's all our lands that we just... I'm okay with drawing all lands now. I'd rather have draw lands and have a whole hand of action. What is this? Four. One of those. Uh...
All right, so it's just a good old who can draw more stuff or more lands right now. That I feel. Now, guys, your mage. We will spell center that. That is true. Amalek was actually the runner of the of the list so far. Not the list, the forum on MTG Salvation. I remember when the forum or the thread came up barely, and that's where I got inspired to actually produce my version of the list. Here. Undo Void Shatter. Now Shatter the Snapcaster Mage. And still, uh, even if he has Counterspell back up here. <laughs> yeah, he says, what? Yeah, because uh, I'm really, I really like running my uh, three mana, three converted mana cost counter spells, and he did not expect that at all. Lightning Helix, I'm okay with. All right, so I get you again. Okay, you might be able to burn us out. So because of uh let's see I think I want to think twice here. The reason I'm running three convert three converted mana cost hard counters is because of uh like in this situation I could also cryptic command and void shatter at the same time. Or in the same turn. Draw a catacomb, pass turn. Yeah, we are low now. Uh, Emrakul is unexilable, or uncounterable, I mean. I really don't want to run the White Sun Zenith out into a counterspell. Pass the turn. Take our turn. Play land, draw go. That's basically what the deck is. This is exactly what the deck does here. Draw your card, play land, go. Right now this is exactly where I want to be. Sphinx's Reb is really good. Two, three. What's in Zenith? We need a clock now. We're not getting any of our uh, Celestial Colonnades here. We need at least two of them to go against this Ghost Quarter here. He has a Remand. He does have Remand. One, two, three, four. We can do Void Shatter Remand. That is true. Okay, let's see what do they have. Another one. Counter draw this time. That reman. Oh, he has more counter spells here. Did he bolt bolt die? It looks to be so. Oh, that'd be painful having all three bolts in hand. Okay, since he didn't have any more counter spells, it's good here to Sphinx just for everything else. Here we may face the good old Sphinx just drive if he didn't have a counter spell for our cryptic command. Actually, supposed to do that is upkeep, but he gets to untap, so I really don't like that. I could do it here anyway. Should we rip for five? Let's see. Yeah, 
That is true. Okay, how many do I want to tap for this? Three, four, five. So that's for three, four, five. This looks better. So here we can draw a cryptic and avoid shatter. And we'll still have enough. Attack with all. Here we should discard Colonnade or Supreme Verdict. Hmm, maybe actually Path to Exile. I feel like Path to Exile because Geist is a uh, hexproof, but the only thing that's worth Path to Exiling is these Cryptic Command. I mean, not Cryptic Command, Colonnades. Resto Angel is also a thing. Yeah, we discarded the pass. So the chat delay is pretty far. Or it is pretty dangerous. Let's see, what is this? Geist. He has two cards in hand. Two men untapped. So here. I'd rather, in response, Snapcast your mage. Make him Esper Charm discard two cards. Esper Charm here. Come discard two cards. We'll filter out white, blue, blue, black, white, and blue. Okay. He was holding lands in hand. That's pretty good. So here we'll attack for everything next turn. Mm, verdict for sure. Play colonnade. Second main phase has a thing on it. Attack for everything. Supreme Verdict. You wanna let the blow on the snap. Let guys resolve, eat the three damage, untap swing, slash verdict, hold up snap snare. Alright. The reason I'll keep like as soon as I see like the opponent has two cards in hand and I see a play where I can do Snapcast from Mage into that. He's trying to draw a card off that, so spell center this. Here we'll do this he has no mana. Why since Zenith? Uh. Concedes the game. Go to game two. I want to bring in the Dispel. For sure, want to bring in I think Surgical something. Dossi is also something. Appetite only hits, uh. They hit what? They don't hit guys, they hit only Restoration Angel. What else do they play? They could hit Cryptic Commands. Not sure if they're really worth it. Bringing them in right now. Celsius Purge could hit Karanos. Not sure if they'll be playing that. I just have to think about. Dispel, Dossi's Purge, Elspeth. Alright, so I'll take out the Surgical Extraction. Yeah. Appetite should be, this is just the budget version right now, it should be uh, the Vendillion clicks, but that's all I can afford right now. I'm trying to move into an apartment, so that's why uh, things are not up to what they would actually be. Like, I would actually have like two more Thought Seasons, so it'd be somewhat similar to what Tap was original. Oh yeah, I was almost going to submit that. Let's see. You should take out... White Sun gets... Dispelled. Sphinx could get dispelled. Mm. Reman. 
seems pretty bad. Shadow Delt's good. Think Twice is good, but not. Not sure if I want to keep one in. Probably cut one. Path only gets. Path only gets a uh, resto. One shadow, one white suns. So I can do this. Take out the white shadow, the white and the shadow, and bring back in green man. I'm sure. Yeah. Has Dispel, Esper Charm, Verdict, and Snapcatch Mage. I really like this hand. I feel like it's a keep here. Okay, so red, white, temp land. Here we should play Colonnade, pass turn. Yeah, sorry, Amp Live Gaming. I mean, Amaleko is the the current writer of the Esper Control Forum right now, and I follow, I follow him like pretty much right now. Like whatever he says goes. Don't want to play Blue Delta because I want to draw into more lands. Okay, let's see if he misses his fourth land drop. He doesn't. We're gonna look like a fool here. If we don't miss our fourth land drop, I'm good. I think here we had to get Watery Grave. Even though it's gonna hurt us a little bit. Just to throw out the Esper Charm. Make him discard too, and he has to have a counter here. The reason why I'm doing this here is because uh, if we don't draw a land next turn, then uh, we don't have to discard. Basically here is just saving the trouble, so if this does go through, it's value. If it doesn't go through, Rosa E, Gaijo's Castle, and Path to Exile. I'm alright with that. If it did went through, we missed our fifth land drop, and he's still rocking on his. We really need our land drop right now. That is not one. Oh, this is bad. Fired it to draw, not discard. Maybe now. Let's see. I think here. Alright. I think you were just pass turn and discard one of these spell snares. Or probably the Sphinx's Rev could have been something to discard. But that's the only one in our deck so far. Or I'm thinking. I guess I missed a single land drop. I'm gonna draw in some more lands. Second ghost quarter for our colonnades. Wondering if he runs a chromo to dust. That is true. So I should be drawing a uh, into lands, you would think. I don't know, Hellkite he has three lands up. Yes, he haste. I don't have path. Can't do anything about that.
think five here we're down to twelve. John Catacomb. For sure I want to do this. Sphinx. I'm not Sphinx. Supreme Verdict now. It is true. But in control mirrors, drawing the lance is like very important. Here's a Geist. Two cards in hand. Let's see. Okay, I think he'll be past turn. Let's see. That is true, I see that now. Okay. First we should... We could also Sphinx for three, but I'm pretty sure he has a Counterspell back up. So we're taking six here. Looks like we can either... You could either think twice, hoping we get a path. Think twice again. We don't hit the path. But we only have two mana after that. Snap target, Esper Charm. Don't cast it and block. Yeah, that is true. We do that here. Oh, yeah, path's not going to do anything. He has hex proof. That is true. Forgot about that. I need to get more uh, knowledgeable of the mana but of the metagame here. He's eating a bolt here. We could probably save him. Dispel here. And force him to use more counter spells or more burn on our thing on our snapcaster mage. Good remand. We could probably even uh, spell center that. Okay, so he played Reman. We could probably spell center here. Because we do have the other Snapcaster Mage anyway. So we'll do that here. And if he has something else to counter that, which it looks like he does, he's fetching. Does one, two, probably another. Remand, which we will spell center that. And he's left with zero cards in hand. We take four damage and we block two. Block here. Now he has literally nothing on the field no more. And we've stabilized with the... Sphinx's rev that you can fire off during his upkeep. And we'll pass turn. And his upkeep before his draw, yep. Okay. Rev for three. And we're back in it. Now he's just top decking. Just play our lands and throw them. Hey, Mega Maxi, what's up, man? Why not just do it for the main lands? Uh, hmm. Want to snapcast your mage here, or should I just logic knot? I think logic knot's better here. No? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could. Yeah, logic knot seems good here. The one, we don't want spell snare. We can take out a spell snare, leave one in there, take out the snapcaster mage. 
four. We need three more. Let's see what we can do. Sphinx, snare, six, and one more. I'm okay with this. Let's see. One, two, three. I can do. Oh, true. So I guess we're throwing out the dispel here. That's a colonnade. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have seven. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he doesn't have seven. So I left up a uh, Snapcaster Mage Esper Charm that we could fire off during his draw. Not sure if that's the plan here. Let's see. Uh, I think we should just let it go. Let him draw. If he draws land, I'm okay. But no matter what, what he plays here, we will do. Not gonna chop a black source. Think twice for one. Get our card advantage going. Think twice again. Yeah. Get our lands. Here we'll play this. Question is, do we want to snapcast your mage, make him discard two again? Yeah. One, two, one, two, three. All right. So you can do one, two for Snapcaster Mage, three Esper Charm in discard mode, and have two left just in case he uh, remands Snapcaster here. Or he probably won't. I'm just looking at chat. Sorry if I'm taking a while. Uh, I think I'll throw this play. Snapcaster Mage, Esper Charm. if he has the remand here. He had a Geist and Fountain here. We kind of got lucky there. Alright, so I should have mind harassed him whenever I had the chance like that. The remand does blow it out, yeah. Alright. So there's stuff like that that I need to learn. Just a lot more stuff like that. Like small stuff like that, I can really learn a lot. Maybe we'll attack in for two. All right, that is true. If he remands the thing twice here, yeah, that would have been bad. That is true. Let's see. Uh, so the Esper Charm play was really good, or was it good in your opinion? Because I thought so. But yeah, the thing twice, that is something I need to think about too. That is true. Bouncy Snapcaster is really good. Plays land, passes turn. We have think twice in the yard that we can throw up. Yeah, that's true. I really like playing the Snapcaster Mage like that. Think twice again. And we don't think twice anymore after that. Esper Charm's good here. Play Misty Gate. 
Attack with Snapcaster Mage. Since he's fetching here, do we want to Shadow Doubt? We're all for Shadow Doubt here. It's true. Do that. Oh, that is true. Okay, with the mana, now that it's screwed up there. Let's do this. Shadow Doubt's are really no addition to my deck here. Actually, I shouldn't have tapped out all of them yet. Yeah, that's exactly why. Nope. <laughs> I really need to get to using, used to using Shadow Doubt because I legitly just got it like yesterday oh yeah that is true <laughs> I know. Mine are almost like probably my favorite mode on Esper Charm. We're going against uh, Jeskai Control here. Bolted. No. Save the Snapcaster Mage. See? Okay. We probably do counter counter bounce. I mean, Let's see, yeah, counter bounce there. He has negate. Zero cards in hand. Yeah. The mind drive really caused me there. Or costed at me there. I have that there. There's just a verdict, actually. I <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm sorry if I'm not reading the chat because I'm low on time right now. I have two minutes thirty seconds on time. Rest in peace. Alright, so it looks like we got this game. Mind around discard mode only for those ones when they have 5 to 6 cards and you have 10 to 12 lands in play.
Yeah. Uh, so our opponent wants to look at our deck. So we're gonna bring him into the stream real quick. Try not to be so mean because he's playing Jessica Control. He's pretty good. And even though, even though we got there, if it wasn't for the chat, I would have not got there actually. 